A billion people still don't have access to electricity. A little-known clean energy revolution is coming to help. Nigeria has some 200 million people. Barely half have access to electricity. Even those that do see power cuts that can last hours in a day. The result is that those who can afford it are spending billions of dollars each year on dirty electricity from diesel generators. Fortunately, the problem doesn't have to keep getting worse. Mini grids are coming to the rescue. These are small and isolated versions of larger power grids. With solar power so cheap, these are increasingly being powered by the sun. Some are even backed up by batteries. There are now nearly 6,000 such mini-grids in 12 countries across Africa and Asia. The advantage is that remote locations or small settlements do not need to wait for expensive cables to reach them from central grids before they can access electricity. Instead, solar panels and batteries are being installed locally with room to increase supply as demand grows. While mini-grids are starting to grow in number, they still face hurdles in many markets. Developing countries have bad regulations that stop companies from building mini-grids at all, or there is corruption and cronyism that can make the projects costlier than they actually are. Still, the idea is appealing enough that countries are finding ways to solve the problem. Nigeria, for example, learned from the failures of mini-grid rollouts in Tanzania and Rwanda. The cost of providing electricity to those who still don't have it is as little as $600 per household, and governments only have found half the money needed. Filling that gap will go a long way in making life better for those less fortunate and ensure that they aren't locked into using high carbon energy sources. This is Net Zero. I'm Akshat Rathi. For more stories like this, find us on your favorite platforms.